Hey, good morning, everybody. Captain John here. I'm now leaving my hotel, heading over to my little minibus. Gonna get a quick pre-trip in on that guy and then hit the road. It's only about a 20 or 30 minute drive to the site where I'm going today. I'm gonna show you a quick setup, setup process we do there and we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Yes, Lyle, no hippie truck and transportation. Much easier than trucking, my friend, much easier. What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean Ay, What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean That's pretty much the setup. It's pretty simple. Uh, a little bit of work, a little bit of uh, sweating going on first thing in the morning. We do the same thing at night. We break it all down. We use that uh, wheelchair lift to put it all back into the back of the, the minibus. Pretty simple process. Uh, and for the rest of the day, we just kind of you know monitor the bus. Uh, this is a gas-powered bus, so there's really not much monitoring that has to be done to the bus itself. It doesn't have it does have high idle, which we which we run on it. Uh, with the diesel buses uh, and the larger buses that are all diesel, obviously, uh, we do have to do a region on them because the motors are running the entire day. They don't turn off because all the equipment inside has to be powered. So we just have to monitor that, make sure we're doing regions and make sure that everything's running properly. Keeping the temperature, uh, we have to adjust the temperature throughout the day, making sure, you know, the staff inside are comfortable and everything's where it needs to be. That's pretty much it. You know, from this point on, it's just uh, customer service to the staff, you know, helping out where it needs to be done. Uh, if it gets windy, you know, got to put weights on the, the canopies or just take them down. Stuff like that. Just monitor the site. Simple stuff, guys. You know, not nothing too, too, uh, too strenuous, <laughs> you know. Uh, just a little bit of work in the morning, a little work at night. This, like I said, is a 12-hour site. Some sites are only eight hours. So it's just a long day. It drags out. It really does. So, uh, yeah, stick around. We'll, we'll talk some more here. Today was especially easy to set up because we didn't have to do the tarps or the tables or anything outside because uh, they're very short staff today. There's only three staff members instead of the regular eight. So yeah, there is no need to set up anything outside. They're running everything straight through the bus. They just have the windows, window one and two, they're on the side. So people come up to window one to register or window two and then they go to the other window to get their COVID test. That's pretty much it. You know, most of our clientele is basically kids that need to go back to school. You know, California passed the thing where, you know, if you want to go to school, you have to show a negative result or be vaccinated. 
Uh, same thing if you want to go to an event like a concert, football game, baseball game, any kind of large scale event, you're going to have to uh, show a negative result or be vaccinated. So you come here, you get your results within a few days and you show that to the venue and you can get in. So that's pretty much what right, we so got everything broke down. I'm just waiting for uh, the staff to clear the bus. I got the uh, Indy Camp ramp preloaded with my first load. And I'll add that one on there after the second one to get it all loaded up in there. And it'll be it. We'll call it a night. Head back to the hotel. All right, just got back to the hotel. The uh, beast is parked right back there. And, uh, gonna call it a night. I'm gonna come in here, eat some food, hit the gym. I've been hitting the gym every night. So I was feeling good to do that. I haven't hit the gym in over a year, you know, being over the road truck driving. So it's kind of nice to actually be back in the swing of going to the gym all the time. Right, back in the hotel room. Room service finally came in. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing here. My little setup. I got some uh, some water, obviously. Uh, I got some microwavable food. I got stuff to make sandwiches. Got my fridge stocked with, with the water and some healthy stuff. I got some salad, salad dressings. Uh, yep, that's pretty much what we're doing. Don't want to eat out too much because uh, we're trying to lose weight. <laughs> like I said, uh, it's been over a year since we've uh, been in the gym. And uh, man, I'm feeling good in that gym every day. A little, a little bit of a struggle at first because, you know, uh, I can only do about a 30 minute workout before like, okay, I don't, I don't want to overdo it and strain myself or anything. So I'm slowly building back up to what I would normally do, which is about two hours in the gym, treadmill, some weights, a few things like that. Uh, but right now, just doing treadmill, building my endurance back up um, at the site uh, where I'm working. I do some laps around the parking lot during the day, you know, build up my step count. <laughs> that helps build, uh, burn the calories before I intake more, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing. So, um, yeah, so this is my second week here on the Bus Test Express site, and uh, yeah, we're uh, making it work. Now, not too much to show you guys other than, other than what this was here and what I showed you in my last video. It's a very slow site. Like I said, easiest, easiest job I've ever had, guys. Really simple. Um, and, you know, I had a few people comment, you know, is, does Charter Bus pay comparable to what I was making in the trucking industry? And, well, yes and no. Um, Definitely yes, uh, right now, because of this uh, contract we are on. Um, but generally, I would say in a regular charter trip where you're taking private groups to different destinations, it's probably very comparable. It pays about the same. Um, we did get some pay raises with this company since the last time I worked here, so I'm going to say I'll be making about the same as I was making in trucking, if not more, because I do get tips. You know, you don't get tips in trucking, at least probably not the tips you'd want. But I definitely get tips, uh, which would put me over the threshold of what I was making in uh, Prime. Now, you know, if you guys have been watching me, uh, with my long-time subscribers, you know I don't really talk finances, talk money, how much I make. I don't show pay stubs uh, like some of these other uh, channels will do. Uh, but what I will say is uh, annually, because this is just basic knowledge, you could, anyone can look it up, um, annually as a regular company truck driver, at Prime, Prime Inc., okay, where I worked, uh, company driver, not lease operator, not owner operator, company, uh, you should expect to make at least 70000 a year minimum. And that's if you work your butt off, don't take a lot of time off. Uh, you could easily clear 70000 after taxes. You should be able to take 70000 home. And I was definitely on track to do that, if not just a little bit more, because I was on Theo's truck. Uh, so 70000 um, So with this, with charter, um, I would say it's more in the eighty thousand to ninety thousand range. So that's California, and that's me, and that's my schedule. So it's gonna be different for everybody. Um, now, of course, you throw in some cash tips on that once once charter um, is completely up and running and uh, back to where it used to be before COVID. Then yeah, you know you can easily make a hundred grand in in busing if you are in the right areas okay because you could be in southern california and probably make a little less whereas in northern california where all the tech companies are and there's a little bit more going on uh, you might make a little more um, and you might go somewhere to north carolina or somewhere in the middle of nowhere uh, iowa 
you might make considerably less, only fifty or 60000 a year. So it really depends where you live and all that. And I'm no expert on it. If you need some expert information, go talk to James over at Motor Coach World. Uh, he definitely has some videos on this subject. I'm just, I'm just rambling. He has facts. So go check out his channel, Motor Coach World, James, uh, really good channel. Okay, I've rambled enough. Uh, so uh, I'm showing you my whole week here, by the way. This is not just a one-day event. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just spreading out what I'm sharing because I'm doing the same thing every day. And I could basically just show one thing and it'd be a five minute video. And you guys that have been following, you know, I, I like to make my videos at least 20 minutes or so. And I think I might be pushing that boundary right here. So anyways, um, I'll show some more. I'm gonna show the jam and also um, what I'm eating. Um, I'm gonna have a cheat day at the end of this week. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe order some pizza or something uh, to uh, treat myself for all this hard work. Uh, I've been really good with my diet guys 1700 calories a day is what I'm doing and I'm trying to burn as much as well so as much as possible as well so all right guys we'll talk to you later and this is what we're dealing with tonight for dinner I just got back from the gym took a shower now we just warmed up some of this food not the greatest looking food but you know what this is gonna do after a long day I'm hungry I'm gonna eat this and go to bed we're gonna do it again all tomorrow same thing all over again. All right, we made it to Friday. My second week here with this bus test express site in Chino, California. And uh, I'm doing my little walk. I do a couple laps here in the morning and in the afternoon. Just walk this whole parking lot area. Just gotta get my steps in. I'm trying to get uh, 10,000 steps a day, which is definitely a lot more than I would ever, ever get as an over the road truck driver. I'll tell you what guys, I feel so much better health wise even just two weeks into this uh, I feel like I've already lost a lot of weight I've lost a lot of my water retention uh, I don't feel as bloated anymore however I've been on a really strict diet 1700 calories a day uh, which I've only really only been doing about 1500 a day and I feel fine you know I don't I feel like I'm starving myself sometimes but once I do eat light it's really not a big deal feeling pretty good and I have been hitting the gym at the hotel almost every day I only skipped one day because uh, just tired, you guys. You know, not a hard job. It's just a long day, it really is. We're, uh, gosh, 12 hour shift here, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, that's not including the hour before I get here to inspect my bus and get everything ready, get the sidal set up and all that. And then in the evening as well, you know, I have to break it all down and go back to the hotel. This is about 40 minutes. Unless I have to stop to put fuel, it's about an hour. So you know, I'm about a 14 hour day, mostly. So uh, yeah, I'm tired, but I've still been hitting the gym when I get to the hotel, pretty much every day. So I'm proud of myself for that. And uh, like I said, we're here Friday, second weekend. Feeling really good, guys, really good. I'm really happy with where I am right now. Definitely made the right choice getting out of over the road. Um, I think I might do a live this weekend to just kind of answer a lot of questions that people have been asking in the comments, a lot of uh, a lot of negative things people have been saying. I just want to kind of address it a little. I'm going to do a live though. That way, uh, you know, hopefully those people are around and we'll have a chat, we'll have a conversation. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and I'm looking forward to having a cheat day. <laughs> I've been, like I said, 1,500 to 1,700 calories a day. Um, man, I want to I want to pig out this weekend. Uh, but I'm also going to hit the gym very hard this weekend. I've been doing about a 40 to 60 minute routine at the gym. Um, Saturday and Sunday, which is tomorrow and the next day, I'm going to try and do two hours a day. Uh, but I'm also going to increase my calorie intake significantly. I'm probably gonna go up to about uh, 2,500 calories for the day. And uh, yeah, I'll go from there. So, all right, we'll stick around and we'll, uh, we'll finish this day out here, get home or get to the hotel, relax next week. I will be at the same site, but only for two days, uh, because Wednesday I'm going back to the San Francisco area, and uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do with me. Then I have a dentist appointment later in the week, so they may have me do a casino run or a charter, which I'm really looking forward to. I really hope they put me somewhere. Um, not that I don't like the site down here. Great people, by the way. Uh, this particular site, anyway. Um, it's the only site I've worked. Great staff. Uh, all the people are just really nice. The security personnel is amazing. Uh, the staff, 
nurse, the administration, all the interpreters, everyone that works here to make this happen. Just such great people. And uh, yeah, I I'll be very happy if I stick with this site. But I know they're going to have me float around, which is fine too. Um, so anyways, yeah, hopefully we get into one of the big buses, guys. So I can really uh, go on a trip with some passengers. That's, that's you know, what this channel really is going to be about. Is, you know, my daily vlog or my the vlog of my uh, my trips and uh, show you guys what I do. So yeah, stick around and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the hotel tonight, get some rest, hit the gym, and have a good weekend. And I'll document all that for you guys. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. that's gonna do for this video thanks for tagging me along i really appreciate it it's a new journey a lot of fun i'm so happy to be uh able to spend more time with family that's what it's all about making more money too so even better so uh yeah we will see you down the road